I don't intend to offend anyone, but that's a spectacularly short-sighted and stupid approach to rust. No, I'd say that you're going to be the first one out of business because those coffees are the ones that are most susceptible here. And if you see what happened in Ceylon, Ceylon was a big Arabic producing country. Uh, within 10 years, the coffee industry was totally finished. Because we, and that's, what, that's what's happening, the climate change, all right? So suddenly the temperatures are dropping and allowing, you know, these rust spores are, are starting to attacking uh, higher altitude coffees. And that's what those people are buying, you know, with the price situation and just a small, a much smaller incident of, um, of rust is going to cause those, you know, those farmers to, to really be sitting on shaky ground. Even the highest quality coffee, if it's a susceptible rust, you don't get your coffee. This, this is the, it's not the mother of the high end or selected. This is the twins problem. So if it's the rust susceptible, rust is too, you know, bad, it's you cannot get the good coffee because they are assuming, you know, your highest grade coffee is even, you know, for the rust. This is the best quality. No, no, it's two different traits. So that is, no, this is every great coffee's problem. Uh, it was never an epidemic. We, we could live with it uh, just by doing uh, spot applications of copper uh, every once in a while. We, we could uh, live with the, with the rust present in the plantation. But in 2010 and 2011, uh, we had uh, record uh, uh, rainy years and um, the rust became severely apparent in the end of 2011. I don't think I'm hugely biased in saying someone like Ida Batier grows astonishing coffee. Kilimanjaro is a smaller production lot this year because of rust. So yeah, it kind of affects everybody and you have this thing, it's a living thing that evolves. Do you know what I mean? If there's more food available for it to consume, it will do so ultimately, it's in its interests. Uh, we, we're seeing rust uh, in all altitudes and all, in all climates uh, today in, in Guatemala. Uh, before it was mostly present in lower altitude farms with humid conditions, but today we see it everywhere. And, uh, and, and therefore, I, I think uh, roasters cannot be oblivious to, to this subject anymore. We know it's changing, we know it's evolving, we know conditions are changing and evolving, allowing it to spread to places it's never gone before. Just because it's not there yet, I think, is a, such a short-sighted and stupid thing to think. Like, rather than how do we stop this ever getting here? So, of course, it's a problem. But, um, yeah, I, I would call them foolish. You, you really need to step up here, you know? and uh, uh, secure that, help secure those farmers uh, on, at those higher altitudes because they're the ones that are in great danger. Mm -hmm.